Today we are introducing PicoOS 2. PicoOS 2 will enhance the ways you use PicoOS and the ways developers will be able to make their apps for PicoOS. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into it. So first, let's plug in the Pico that is preloaded with Pico OS 2. So let's go into our shell. Okay, so now we can run our new setup um, program. So let's go import setup, not city, setup. So we can enter in our name, so user year, the year is 2023, the month is the 6th, the day of the week is Tuesday, the day is the 13th, at least I think it's the 13th, or is it the 14th? Yeah, 13th is 1905. Now we can import main. Okay. So we're in Pico OS if we go to about. Okay, so f the first feature that I'm going to show off is a feature called pin control, which does as it says. It can control your pins. So I've got a little breadboard here with some LEDs on it. So let's plug this in and then run our shell again. Oh no. Okay, so let's go pin dash control. Let's set GPR number zero to one. In theory, that LED should come on. Now if we go pin GPIO number um, two, that should also come on. And then number three. Oh. Should work. There we go. Okay, so that's pin control and we can also turn them off of course, so if we set that to zero. Now to exit pin control all we need to do is just enter 999 and 999 and boom, it will exit. We might try and sort out a better solution than that for exiting it, but that's the best way at the moment. You might also notice that I've got a button on there. So if we go pin dash viewer. can see that the LED pins are turned on, but now if I press this button and we run that command again, you can see that pin 15 is on. Let's try that again, now it's off, now it's on. So this is a quick way you can check the status of your pins. Okay, so we've also added a new way for developers to um, get their apps ported to PicoOS. So we've added a run command, which will let you run external programs there in different Python files. So if we create a Python file using the writer command, and then we call it test.py, we can write print hello. There we go. And now if we run run, and we go test. Oh. What do you mean test? I typed in test. Run test. There we go. See? Hello. So yeah, this is going to make it much easier for developers to port their existing Python programs and things like that 
to PicoOS, which is really cool. It means that, that there should be a range of apps and we're going to have an official repository. So you'll be able to send your PicoOS apps to um, computercrunchnz plus picoos2 at gmail.com and if the app is well runs well we'll be able to add it to our official repository coming later this year of course okay there's also a, a couple of other new features as well like um more options for war scenario and random sentence so as you can see south africa is pooping on germany france is punching you and Australia is starting a space war with Chile. So, oh, oh no. Anyway, so let's try a random sentence now. Microsoft is on Planet Bird. Raspberry Pi types a Mac OS. Your friend is doing software. Apple did guest. Anyway, as you can see, we've got a lot more options, and most of them actually make sense now. Um, so yeah, we've also added answers to maths quiz. So if we run maths quiz, set hard, you can see that we've got num answers all calculated out for us, and a whole pile of questions. This will be good for the education market, where if you need to just quickly create a worksheet with um, plus, minus, times, divide, things like that, then you can quickly um, just do it. It takes practically zero effort, and then you can copy it to a Google Doc and print it, or Word, or whatever. So yeah, um, there's other small changes to PicoOS as well, like um, we've removed the smart light function, which um, really did nothing. I didn't re really expand on that, so we've removed it. There's no references to it. Um, and it's added a status. We've added a status LED, so that means um, that if I is the status LED not working on that beaker? I think we might need to switch to backup here. If we switch to backup. Okay, it looks like this one's working. So if we run something like calculator, you'll see that the LED comes on. Now if we exit out of that, and just run something like about, you'll see it flash quickly. So yeah, that's another new feature. And we've also changed the syntax of a couple of things, so m make sure if you're entering in a command like market share, it's market dash share now, not market, not just market share. And yeah. So that is PicoOS 2. We'd really love for developers to get on board. So join our Discord server and you can directly contact us about developing things for PicoOS and discuss it, um, which will be really cool. And you'll be able to import it, well, port your existing um, Python. Well, MicroPython, it works slightly differently, but Python programs to PicoOS, which is really cool. And I hope the, that PicoOS will become a lot more useful. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Oh, I forgot. We will be hopefully releasing PicoOS on the 4th of September this year. Well, the final version. So, yeah. Can't wait until then. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this video, remember to like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. 
I'll catch you guys later. Bye.